you know, we have we, we do have our arguments too just to seem like anybody else. I'm a sellout to my country and my, my people would not want me back because I'm with a white woman. I, I realize that in life, you know, running down this bag of woman thing and all of that, you know, yeah. Because if it wasn't for that, you would still be alive. We on a roll now. Let's go, let's go now. We on a roll now. Let's go, let's go now. Hello, good morning, where do you came from? Perfect stranger I've been waiting on. Right place at the right time. Nobody can tell me you ain't my mind. Yeah. To be honest, I've never been this bold. Your personality. Wow, the more beautiful people. You don't know it's Alan Boy Africa You're from the island family, of course. You understand? So guys, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, if it's your first time, welcome. You see me so. Yeah guys, um today topic as you guys see from the title. Long distance relationships, struggles and things like that. So yeah, um just gonna freestyle something off the top of my head. Not really freestyle, but you know. Tell you what we, you know, um, you know, we manage in our relationship, you know, me and Maria and things like that, you know. So um yeah. And hopefully, um, I don't know if you guys can learn anything from this or relate to this or you understand, just get to know, you know, what, what we go through because that's all I can do is, is share what our experience, you know, because I don't know, even though, you know, we have heard stories of other people's relationship and things and we have seen, you know, but yeah, I'm just giving you our story. All right, guys, so let's get into the video. All right, so, you know. As, as we all are aware and know that we all are human, right? So we all go through changes, you know, we go through ups and downs in life and things, you know, so and when it comes to relationship, yeah, we, we all go through that. So, um, and also for us, as you guys know, we have cultural differences, you know, so a lot of things are new to us at first that we experience, you know, by being with each other. You know, so, so um, and sometimes that also comes, you know, as a, as you know, it comes with a bit of clash as well. You know, to be to be real, you know. So um, but for us, you know, we have we we do have our arguments too, just to seem like anybody else. You know, but we never go to the extreme to do crazy things. You know, but I would say like if we're even having a, a, an argument, you know, through every little thing, you know, we, we, we both get angry sometimes, you know, we let our emotions, you know, get the best of us and things. But, you know, at the end of the day, we, we, you know, we might just take a break from each other in terms of, you know, you know, just not talking for a bit, you know, because we're both angry and, and thing. but, you know, we come back around and, and you know, look into ourselves and, you know, and apologize if we have to, if, you know, you know, because sometimes in the moment we're very angry at each other and be like, oh, even when you know you're wrong, you know, you're still trying to claim right. So, you know, we go through that and, you know, we'll always come back around and say, you know, sorry about that or whatever the case is, you know. So we do have an understanding of that, you know, and yeah, I think it works pretty well, you know, and at the end of the day, we really love each other. So we always try to, to, to solve, you know, our, our problems, you know, we don't just you know, go do some crazy and, and things like that and then and then have a regret at the end of the day. So, you know, we always have that. Yeah, so um yeah that that's for argument. As you as you all know, we are in a long distance relationship and you know the reality is <laughs> long distance relationship is never easy. <laughs> and for me personally I would never give anyone any advice to, to be in a in a long distance relationship. I'm just speaking from experience because, yeah, it's the hardest thing, man, let me tell you that. Especially, you know, when you're not fortunate to go see a partner, if you understand what I'm saying. You know, so it's not like, oh, I can get up and go. You know, if it's a case where, you know, you both can travel and, and thing, yeah, no, it's, it's more easier. Even though you guys might have even responsibilities at the end of the day still and things that you have to take care of so sometimes and you get caught up with jobs and whatever the case is, you know, so, I mean, things like that can make a uh, long distance relationship very, you know, difficult, you know, where it's just impossible to see each other at the moment or whatever, and it's 
especially during this pandemic as well, we are all aware that yeah, a lot of people are stuck out there, can't be with their loved ones and things. So we know that it's not easy, you know. But um, how, how we manage every day is from the day we met, you know, we we always been on the phone, you know. We never talk, you know, from um, at least you know 24 hours. You know, if we don't talk for at least 24 hours, it's like it's a big problem, you know. So. In terms of you know we miss each other you know it's like we're worried about each other and things like that so you know every single day we talk let me tell you that every single day we talk on the phone and babe know me already i don't like texting so <laughs> yeah so we we talk a lot we video call most of the time and thing you know so yeah we communicate through everything and yeah um we sometimes if we have to watch even a, a movie or something or a, a youtube video you know through our screen you understand so yeah, we share those moments and laughter and fun and you know if baby's going on the road and thing, you know, she would share, show me the hey babe, look at this, look at the sunset, look at the sunrise or look at those animals or whatever the case is. She going to you know, going shopping, I'll be there with her just the same and it feels good like I get to see, you know, stuff even that you guys don't see yet because, you know, she showed me certain things, you know, on, on her phone while we're talking. So it's 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 great. I, I find it you know, it's it's good on our end, not bad, you know, it's just that it's just distance between us that really holds us back and that's the part that yeah. It it can tear it on sometimes because sometimes you just have flashbacks and you know, and you're thinking in the moment like, Wow, you know, my partner is not here and things like that. As you know, that's our dying dream right now to, to be with each other. So yeah, that's how we really um cope within a long distance relationship, you know share our moments it's an everyday thing for us you know yeah and if we're having problems through our ups and downs we share it you know whatever we're going through you know our feelings our emotions everything we share that you know yeah man so that's how we cope through that all right guys so, and another thing is time difference like <laughs> it's crazy like i remember the first time being tell me like you know what time it was there and the time in jamaica i was like what are you saying i understand because when when I'm waking up in the morning, that's coming to babe's bedtime at night. You understand? So you, you, you know how it works, right? So it is crazy. You know, sometimes when I want to go to bed, <laughs> that's when babe is waking up and thing. And it's, it's just crazy to think like, wow, you know, oh, 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 this world is in a, in a sense where, yeah, uh, we're not on the same time and sometimes sometimes babe have to be up late sometimes may have to be up late even though I'm not a late person but I'll probably get up more early in the morning to talk to her and things like that you know so that's how we do it you know um, whenever we find time whenever we're free you know if babe need me and you know she call me in the middle of the night I pick up and just the same vice versa so yeah we, we, we manage through that you know we try our best to manage through that you know, so um, yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, man. And as you guys know, long distance relationship can get lonely at times. You know, and yeah, it's 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 not easy. Let me tell you that for sure. It's not easy. You know, because it, it always brings a lot of flashbacks, a lot of memories. You know, with you and your partner and thing. And you know, um, the way I grew up, I grew up different. You know, because not a in reality, not a lot of men can handle themselves in that. In you know, in my case, you understand. And I'm just being real, you know, because we know our culture as well, too, you know. And people also, all I see, you know, hateful comments about those things, too, like oh, when they go back home, oh, you go back to your Jamaican woman. So I also see those stories too. But you know, I'm I grew up different, as I said, guys. You know, I've never been the type of person to to hear sorry to feel like you know. And this is gonna sound crazy, but since I found out something about even even my father passed away, it was something I never really wanted to find out about. And yeah, I found out like just not really that long ago. You understand? And it just even it brought it, it just shocked me in a way, you know, to realize that if if he did make the right decision he would still be alive you know and why I'm bringing this up is because 
a lot of men out there claim to be oh I'm a gallus and all of that and don't realize that there, there's disease out there and things like that so and what I'm saying is that guys my father passed away from HIV you understand so I, I realize that in life you know running down this bag of woman thing and all of that you know yeah because if it wasn't for that you would still be alive and that's the, that's his mistake you know because yeah you wanted a lot of women and, and things like that so you know things like that to happen you know so um yeah it's just life life teaches me you know and i always been that humble person i just never felt greedy for anything i always kept my humbleness you know so um i just all my composure you know stay potent and you know just focus on my family that's 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 what matters to me i understand so yeah that's where my focus is you know no matter how lonely it gets you know I love playing my PUBG, I love going on my YouTube, I love edit my videos, you know, and do my music just to see them, you know, so I, I just keep my mind occupied with things, you know, and, and you know, just always be there for my family, I understand, just talk, just talk to my wife every day, as I said, you know, talk to my son and everything, play with my son over the phone, just the same, so, yeah, I keep my focus, yeah, and another, and another thing, guys, you know, I don't really want to, really touch bases on the, the, the bad comments as much but I've seen a lot of comments where people talk about oh I'm a sellout to my country and my, my people would not want me back because I'm with a white woman you understand and that just made me like wow I didn't know that you know that's how Jamaican see us I guess I, I didn't know that was actually a thing where wow once you're with a white woman you, you know you're being cast out of you know being a Jamaican or, or you know so I seen those comments and I'm like I don't know tell me what you guys think you know sh let me know in the comment section all my Jamaicans out there and thing like is that is that is that actually a thing where I'm not Jamaican anymore and <laughs> just let me know guys cuz that really shocked me and, and it's not just one comment I saw more than one comment with that you understand so yeah it, it's really crazy you know so um being in a long distance relationship it really opened my eyes because when I was with a Jamaican woman before I've never had random men try to try to you know stop me from being with Maria uh, or anything like that try to set me up against Maria you understand so what's the difference yeah you understand when I was with a Jamaican I did not face those things you understand so when I when I when I met Maria now it's like a whole different a whole different world because I get hit from left, right and center. People from Instagram, people from everywhere, right? Came in, came into play and then, you know, trying to stop us. You understand? So, it's just a real eye-opener to see that, you know, people saying that, oh, I'm a sellout to my country because I'm with a white woman, as they would say. So, yeah, long-distance relationship is it's not the easiest, let me tell you that. And for me personally, would I recommend someone being to be in a, um, a long distance relationship? Probably not. You understand? It, it's not the easiest. But if it's your choice and if you really love that person, go ahead. You understand? That's all I can say. But for me, like to say, oh, you know, go look for someone, you know, from a different country or whatever. No, I wouldn't say so. You know, it just, it's just up to you. If you want that, you follow your heart. You know, so, yeah. Um, that's just how I see it, guys. So yeah man and I hope um I hope this kinda sums up everything. Um yeah. So um <laughs> hope you enjoy watching and thing. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share and comment down below and let me know what you guys think. Yeah man, so yeah man until next time. It's Island Boy and it's the Island family. We out. Channel please don't forget to subscribe. You understand? Uh, I don't know. Do I know to do it? Wow, I'm gonna be the full people. First, the first topic I wanna talk about today would be um, <laughs> don't do that, babe. All right, so let's start this, guys. Um, I'm just gonna tell you, babe, stop the man. Come on, man. Yeah, interrupt me. Babe, stop. I'm trying to do a video, babe. Stop. Come on. Alright, so. Mm.
Alright. Alright guys, so yeah, make a start, you know. So um as as you guys <laughs> You're weirding me out. <laughs> 